everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choate. I hope you had a good day yesterday with our finger printing flowers and that made me start to think why not do that again and then I even realized holy bananas Batman where we've been doing pointillism almost all week. We start off with our pointillism first thing then we did our flowers which were our thumbprints which is pointillism and today we're going to be doing these like make a wish kind of dandelions you know when you a dandelion dries up you get to blow it out except for the fact it's snowing so who knows how dandelions are going to be this year but we can make our own and so i figured what we're going to do we'll be doing our finger printing pointillism dandelions and we can write a wish down on it we can think about a wish as we're drawing it and relax a little bit have fun loosen up even adults can have a lot of fun with this so let's get started the first thing we're going to do when we're drawing our dandelion is we're going to draw the center that's going to help us know where to branch off from i like to do a pretty decent sized dot and we're going to be drawing our lines coming off of that dot and i like to end it with a dot so when i'm talking to younger students and we're talking about a line segment it has a start and it has an end. It has a start and it has an end. It kind of helps identify the end point and make these lines lots of different lengths. Try to keep it different. Because think about how many little spurs this dandelion has in real life. It's a lot very dense so you can do as many or as few as you'd like as long or as short as you like I personally think the more the cuter and once we have that we're gonna draw in our stem coming off of the center and you could do a curvy little cute line and I like to draw a little leaf. I put some curve in it. You can look at a real leaf if you have a house plant. Feel free to look at a leaf, like our observational drawing, and draw something in that looks a little bit more realistic. If you didn't last time, like me, have a paper towel next to you, make sure you grab something to wipe your finger on, dab your finger in your water, and bring it over to the paint. And we're going to be putting our fingerprints on those little ends. Now, I like to do a bunch of the same color first, kind of spreading them out, and then I wipe off my finger. So I'm not going yellow, orange, yellow, orange, going back and forth. I like to try to do all the same colors first because you don't need to wipe your finger off if you're going back to a similar color or the same color and you can have fun with this have fun with the colors Make sure we get all of those spots and then you can even add in a few like they've been falling. I like to add some into the sky as well because remember talk to your students about the background so the area around your subject matter the foreground which is the area coming forward which is this um, dandelion. So think about all your space. Don't just do an image boom on there and forget about everything else. Start to do the grass too. Do the grass and you can keep going with these dots. You can do your leaf, switch up your colors. It's okay if it gets a little watery or a little more dry, especially when we're doing our like detail areas 
and have fun with it and play. And maybe now you go down with a color pencil or a marker and you add details. Maybe you want to go back in with uh, your marker and write, I wish, and put a wish down here. Or maybe you don't want to share that wish. That's up to you. So I'm going to write it just so you guys don't forget. So you could write what your wish is. And don't mind me with my t little typo. I told you guys in that uh, calligraphy video that when I start to think about lettering, I do a lot of mistakes because I keep thinking about each individual letter. But it's always about how can you go back and fix it? How can you make it seem like it's not a mistake? So in this case, I'm making my letters thicker because I don't know why I started doing WN. And I'm going to keep that handwriting that I was doing going. And remember, all aspects of your drawing are art. So even if you're putting your wish on there, that's part of your art. And never forget, sign your name. So I hope you had fun making our dandelion. Hopefully you had a little bit of a chance to relax, laugh a little bit, have a little bit of fun. And maybe you could put these up on your window at home so other people walking by can see. Or maybe you put it up on your fridge or maybe you keep it to yourself in your bedroom. So I hope you had a good time. I hope you made a wish. Uh, maybe you don't share it with anyone because I don't know if I believe if you tell people your wish, it doesn't come true. So I hope you had fun. I hope you were, you know, you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe. All of those things really matter to me. I like to know which projects you're enjoying more than others. Uh, it really helps me curate next week and the week after that and who knows how long. So please let me know what you're enjoying and if you like it, pass it on. I really do appreciate that. So all right, hope you join me tomorrow. Bye!